federal government says it will upskill the Nigerian creative industry into a critical segment of the global economy. Vice President Kashim Shetima announced this while addressing key players and stakeholders in the nation's creative and entertainment industry at the Art, Cultural and Creative Economy Roundtable or Creative Industry Intervention. He tendered a passionate apology to members of the creative and entertainment sector over neglect by past administrations. He therefore reiterated the firm resolve of the tenable led administration to maximize the potential of the nation's creative economy. The vice president, however, thanked members of the creative industry for remaining the beacons of light and hope for Nigeria. This roundtable is an avenue for us to deliberate and recommit ourselves to fostering an environment that nurtures creativity, innovation, and inclusivity. More than ever, we see the need to amplify the voices of our creative minds, empower our best talents, and harness the unbridled potential that lies within the poles of Nigeria's diverse cultural tapestry. This roundtable discussion isn't just for us to chart a course that celebrates our past achievements. It is for us to pave the way for an even brighter, more inclusive, and prosperous future for Nigeria's creative economy. For it is through such synergy that we shall continue to ascend to greater heights and cement Nigeria's rightful place as the unrivaled creative powerhouse in Africa. Thankfully, your president, our president, my boss, is the architect of the nation's entertainment hub. And there's a reason your industry refers to him a city boy. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not only cosmopolitan, a man of arts and culture in tune with the realities of your industry, but he has also acknowledged your industry as a critical segment of the global economy. So we are here to make true our promise to you and let you know that the time has come for your industry to be at the negotiating table in Abuja. I want to express our gratitude for the illumination they have cast upon the wall, the delight they have infused into it, and undoubtedly the economic prosperity and employment they have brought to the thriving galaxy of their profession. The industries that have produced the stars in this room are products of sustained sacrifices. Young and old, the ferocity with which our talents have shown within and outside the shores of the country is a template for each sector in the country. And I confess to being utterly impressed. What is even more astonishing is that they build their collections of empires with minimal support from the government. You thrive not because of us, but in spite of us. You deserve special commendation. This is why we are here. We are here to apologize to you. And to form a synergy to maximize the potential of the past evolving creative economy. I don't know what will have become of Nigeria's image without you. You are the reason we walk with our shoulders still high from Atlanta to Zurich, from Montreal to Santiago. Your dedication, your innovation, and your tireless commitment to shaping a narrative rooted in truth, integrity, and artistic brilliance have been the bedrock upon which our creative industry stands tall. It is through your talents that we refuse the caricatured image and unveil the true essence of Nigeria's creative might. So on behalf of the Nigerian government, allow me to extend our profound and sincere gratitude. Earlier, Senator Ibrahim Hadija, Deputy Chief of Staff to the President, Office of the Vice President, said the initiative was part of the Tinubu administration's efforts to build and nurture a viable working relationship between the public and private sectors in the industry. This administration also has an interest in tracking and pushing the massive job creation potential, both direct and indirect, that a thriving industry like yours generates in any economy. 
This relationship between job creation and the arts is the subject of intense scrutiny and focus by the Bola Ahmed Tunubu administration. Also, the managing director of Providence Bank, Mr. Walter Akpani, commended the vice president for supporting the birthing of the initiative and other planned interventions in the creative sector. So today, uh, to start that journey, as a bank, we are going to earmark at least minimum of five billion naira towards this project. And in doing this, we believe the step we have taken will probably spur other institutions to be part of the journey. So thank you very much and congratulations on this day as we progress towards building a more creative industry. Thank you.